Hello everybody. So this video is all about some Trello automation basics. I'm just kind of going through what is the automation? What does that look like? How does it work? What are some ways you might use it? And we'll go through a live example of how to actually set up some automation. So first of all, just to get started, what is Trello automation. Um, Trello has built-in features for automating different parts of your workflow within Trello. So if you find anything that you're having to do repeatedly, you might be able to automate it and not have to do it repeatedly. So um, Trello has a lot of built-in tools for this. Um, it's free. You don't have to be on a paid plan to use Trello's automation, only if you're going to be using a high volume of um, requests. And so Let's dive into how literally anyone can use Trello automation. So first of all, the way it works, you go up here to automation and there's different options here for rules, buttons, reports, etc. But um, the two main pieces you need to know about building automation is that they're made up of two things. They're made up of a trigger and an action. And the best way to think of that is if you're ever wondering something like, you know, man, when I move a card into a list, I want to assign um, Brittany to it. Well, whatever you say after when, that is your trigger. And then whatever you say after that is your action. So in that example I just gave, when a card is added to a specific list, that's my trigger. Um, that's when I want to take my action, which is add a specific member to the card. So that's exactly what you need to know about setting up the rules. Um, as far as these other areas of card versus board buttons, these are all just different type of triggers. So the card and board buttons are manual triggers that when I say manual triggers, what I mean is they're very specifically buttons that you can have here at the top of your board or inside of a card where you can trigger specific actions to happen based on you clicking that button. And so it's, it's still automated because it's doing those actions, but the trigger is manual. Whereas if you have automation based on um, a specific due date, for instance, like if you want to something to happen a week before a card is due, that's where you'll use due dates. Or if you have something that you want to happen every Tuesday, um, at a certain time, that's where you'll use calendar. So if it doesn't fall under one of those, then you'll use rules, which usually means if something is happening to a card, um, like I said, it's being moved around, a label's being added to it, or something's being changed on it. And so that's that's how it works. Some practical use cases are you might use this for um, assigning team members to cards. You might use it to check off the due date when a card is added to a done list, um, add a reminder comment to a card a week before it's due, um, or maybe creating new templated cards. Um, you can see some of the ones I've got set up here. Um, I added special checklists to a card when it contains pack in the title. Um, you can also, you know, set different custom fields with it. Uh, you can move cards around on different boards. So there's really a lot of different things you can do with it. Um, setting it up, like I said, is super easy. You just head over here to automation, select what you want. I pretty much always start in rules because it takes you to the menu and you can move around in here. And then just click create rule. And, um, you know, going back to that example of when a card is added to a specific list, I want to add a specific user. You look for your trigger um, and you can use this filter button to make it even more specific. If you want to say, I only, you know, when a card is added into the design list, but only if it already has the green label or already if it, you know, doesn't have the green label or, or something like that. Um, and you can refine by, do you want this to happen if certain people do it, if if you're the one doing triggering the action? Um, by default, it's just anyone who does it, and I recommend leaving it at that. So just add that, and that's your trigger. And now you'll want to add your action, which is um, adding me, in this instance, to the card. You could also remove them. Um, and yeah, you can see there's a plethora of different options for actions you can do in here. But um, we'll just stick with this one, hit that. And so just check through your logic. When a card is added to a list, add the specific list design, add member Brit Joiner to the card, hit save. Now let's try it out. So I've got a simple task and I want to move it over here to design. And when I do that, boom, you can already see I've been assigned to it. 
And um, I actually have another rule on here where I was testing it out where I add items to a checklist. So that's why this one is happening, Um, which leads to a good debugging tool. If you're ever like, why are certain things happening on my board? Head over to your automation, go back to rules, and click this little filter up here where it says all and click enabled and you can see what's actually going on on this board. So that's that's great troubleshooting. So you can see um, when I was writing up the post for this, I actually made the same rule and I forgot to turn it off. And I also added some actions of adding items to a checklist. So that's why that happened there. And if you ever wanna get rid of a rule, you can uncheck that box to just unenable it on the board or you can actually hit that delete button if you want to just straight up go ahead and delete it and never use it again. If you want to add it on another board, just click that and you can select any board that you have access to and it'll port it over there. So um, hope this is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, um, I'm building out lots of different content about automating things in Trello and I'm working on some courses and I have a Trello newsletter where I write about all this sort of stuff. So um, I'll include some links to that in this video description. But yeah, come, come join the journey.